Puna Geothermal Venture is gearing up to drill a new production well, possibly around the clock, 24 hours a day. Even though the county passed a law a few years ago banning geothermal drilling at night. On Wednesday, two resolutions were heard at the Hawaii County Council, taking Puna Geothermal Venture to task for their interpretation of the law. I'm looking for solutions, and I'm looking to move forward. Resolution 58-15, requesting the geothermal company located in Poiki to comply with the 2012 ordinance and restrict their drilling operations at production well KS-16 to the hours of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Also, Resolution 59-15, asking the county's Corporation Council to step in to re-examine the issue and take BGV to court over the matter if the 2012 law is applicable. The measures were introduced by Puna Council member Gregor Illigan. And then I saw the video of the previous council of um, how this ban got initiated. The last time Puna Geothermal Venture drilled a well was in 2012, the KS-15 well. The noise associated with the activity generated so many complaints, the Hawaii County Council took action. The council chair at the time, Dominic Yagong, proposed a ban on drilling during the evening hours. You know, it is totally unacceptable to say that it's okay for it to happen at 2 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, or 5 o'clock in the morning. When you're talking about a residential area, although zone agriculture, where you have families that work and children that need to go to school, it's just not, not acceptable. On Wednesday, the council received lots of testimony in favor of both resolutions. Uh, PGV got the permit for their current drilling long after the night ban was passed. Um, according to PGV's mining lease, they are subject to municipal requirements, even if they change. That's the Geothermal Mining Resources Lease R2, February 20, 1981. Um, the lease also required if PGV wanted to contest uh, the night ban, they would have had to do it promptly. They haven't done that. Let's make it clear to PGV that it needs to respect the neighbors and show some aloha. Much of the testimony came from the video conference site in Pahoa. If you were trying to sleep with a dentist drill going in your ear all night long, you would, you would pretty much go bananas in, in, in very short order. If you went to the PGV meeting that they had um, the other night, By they the were kind of like... We have permits to drill. Uh, mocking at the law and said they intend full well to go ahead with the drilling. We can go up to 60 megawatts. And so we're here for the long haul. This is the issue of law. Former Mayor Harry Kim also testified in Hilo. This is the issue of promises made by past legislatures and present legislatures on what government will do to ensure that geothermal done will be done right without sacrificing people, land, and environment. I ask, I beg, and I urge you to understand why the frustration I do not understand what this resolution is about. You passed the law? It was adopted in 2012 uh, after some 10 wells had already been drilled. Why did that happen? It was done in the political context of an election year. Representatives for Puna Geothermal Venture testified in defense of their position. We pointed out the ordinance is legally flawed, overbroad, and preempted by state law. The loss of continuity in the drilling process, not knowing what's going on at night during the 12 hours that, that a d drilling developer would have to uh, come out if you have to follow this ordinance, is uh, potential for having an uncontrolled event. So to move things forward, I'm going to withdraw this. Councilman Illigan withdrew his first resolution, the major asking PGV to comply with the nighttime drilling ban. In address the executive session. The second resolution went into executive session. And we need to come to some kind of understanding here. When the elected officials reopened the meeting to the public, a number of them said they preferred to go another route. None of us are saying let's pull back and not do anything. We, every one of us are, something has to be done. I can compromise on the issues. I will not compromise on my values. I'm not gonna vote on this just because I wanna make somebody feel good and then throw it over to Corp Council and say, hey, 
Now you guys got to deal with the public, not me, because I voted for it. When I know what the legal implications and what we discussed in executive session is. This is not a feel good thing. I took action. I showed direction. And I'm requesting. I'm not forcing. It's up to Corporation Council. It's up to the courts. Puna's two council members stood firmly in support of the resolution. The, the hard part I have here is I support geothermal. <laughs> but, the, but the law is the law. You know, it's clear. The ordinance is very clear. Hilo Council Member Aaron Chung also backed Illigan's proposal. But I'm going to back up my, my, my colleagues from, from Puna. The planning department, through its planning director, has affirmed that that ordinance does not cover PGV's operations. And in reliance on that, PGV has not only done drilling, but it's also gone ahead, entered into contracts, ordered supplies, spent substantial sums of money to get to the point where it needs to drill very shortly. Of course, we're talking about vested rights. I disagree with both Mr. Ye, I mean, no offense to Mr. Ye, with our corp counsel. I believe that the vested rights don't apply here. The best way is to find like a really good resolution that we could all agree upon and that the community could agree upon and be like, you know, yeah, that's an awesome way to do it and that everybody can be happy about it. But with this one, it does, it's not the, I don't feel it's the right, the right way. Kanalua, no. In the end, the resolution was voted down. Chair Kanua, you have four ayes and five no's. Thank you. Motion fails. Puna Geothermal Venture plans to begin the next round of drilling early this month. Recess for 10 minutes.